Hello, my darlings. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the first part of Let's Build New Crest. The new series, the new Let's Build. We've got a whole lot of fucking building to do. Look how many lots we have got to get done. So this is probably going to take about three years. <laughs> I'm going to try and get each house done within two to three episodes. Um, editing will be a little bit different compared to the last sort of Let's Build. I kind of let that run through a little bit more. So I may do a few things off of camera, but then I will always sort of show you what I've done and stuff. Anyway, this is where we're going to be starting. We're going to be starting at Wisteria House. Um, this area here is going to be a bit more of the upmarket kind of london-esque townhouses with victorian villas but also i want to get a modern house in here somewhere as well so i will be kind of conflicting the style they probably won't blend well with the neighborhood there are a few houses on the street that kind of look like victorian villas but for the most part they kind of look like the sort of new orleans style sort of balcony you get where i'm going with that kind of yeah that kind of architectural style um this area here i'm going to be doing more of a commercial lot Ryan, who actually commented on one of my um, comments or like community posts, we were both on the same way, same wavelength. So Ryan, you you said make this like the commercial lot, which I was going to do anyway. More up Market Street going along here. And then also up here is going to be your more starter homes. Um, maybe like a little apartment block or something. I'm going to try and do something a bit different. Um, but yeah, I think that's the best way to go for it. I think that's the best way to go, sorry. Um, and I think today we'll get started on Wisteria House. I will chuck in a few pictures once we get onto the lot to show you the kind of style that we're going to be building today. So we're back with the first lot in this series. This is going to be called Wisteria House. Main reasons being, I got really inspired by this picture here that you will see coming into the screen now. So it's a really gorgeous white London townhouse with this huge Wisteria tree kind of creeping up onto it. Now, we haven't got any Wisteria. We do. We have something now that is actually came with the new update, but it's just not going to look good enough to kind of climb up like I want it to. So I'm going to have to kind of do something with this. I'm unsure on what we're going to do to make it look like this. Um, I was thinking about just hanging some grapes. Uh, <laughs> just hanging some grapes around and making the grapes look like the Wisteria flower. But um, I'm unsure, but this is the kind of thing we're going to do. We're going to make it a three bedroom family home with a really lovely urban garden as well. It's kind of like this picture here that I'm going to put up on the screen now, like an urban garden, really modern, clean cut lawns. Um, it's not going to be big. I'm going to have like a front kind of garden area out the front here. Not too much of a garden, more of a, like a sort of courtyard in the front. I do want the lot raised up with stairs going up onto it. Like you can see now, like, like you saw in the picture. Um, with the urban garden at the back and what I'm going to do with each lot just so they blend in quite well I'm going to do like a tree line going down the sides of the lot using the same trees and what that will do that will just kind of help blend everything together as you look across the lot itself so yes without further ado here we fucking go la da da um but yeah I am very very happy because of obviously the latest update that has just came into the sims uh, with all of the stuff that I've been wanting to use for many years and I've never been able to because we just couldn't. Whereas now, we can use them and I'm so bloody excited about it. So bloody excited. I was going to pull out a few bits today. I will probably do that in a few other um, episodes. But today, I thought it would be fun to uh, kind of have a little look through together and stuff. So I think that's where we're going to go with it anyway. Now, I'm going to do this as a three-story home. Most of the townhouses that I'll build across on these lots will be three-story homes. Um, so I just think it. most of the townhouses that I do see in everyday life normally are kind of three stories. So that is where we're going to bloody go with it. Um, and the top one, I think I'm going to do it at a short height. It kind of marries in well. So they're just three big cubes. I think that's going to be a good size. Kind of, how many is that? Like 11? Yeah, 11. I think that would be a kind of good size through there. I think I might start fencing it off now through the front. I'm going to do the facade and kind of concentrate on the facade and the like exterior. Um, and go on bit by bit and do it that way. I think that would be the best way to go. First things first, let's get a little moment going in here. Now, I'm not going to copy that build, like, like to a T, because I won't be able to anyway, because The Sims 4 wouldn't allow it. 
But what I am going to do is try and marry that aesthetic in as much as possible. Why did I do that? Um, let's try and do that to there. I think that would be perfect. Let's get a little cheeky stairway going up. Now, the stairs are kind of reminiscent of these, maybe. I do want them to... I wouldn't mind them being black, actually. Do we have a black one in this? Oh, we do. That could look pretty cool. Because of the... I love the contrast between the white and black with this build. I really do. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yes, I am. I bloody am, I tell you. Um, I think with the front, I'm going to do the big Victorian gates. Uh, always baffles me why they're one of the most... Um, least expensive fences like this is less expensive than say like a wooden kind of balance it just that bothers me as coco peru would say that bothers me and if you unsure if you are unsure on who coco peru is go and educate yourself my friends over on youtube coco peru youtube.com <laughs> god <laughs> But yeah, she's a hilarious drag queen and I watch all of her content when she puts stuff out. Is that a bit bougie? Is that a bit big? I think that's a bit big. I think that is a little bit big. Ah, oh, damn. Do you know what I'm going to do instead then? I'm going to just have a gap. I kind of like the bigness of that fence there. Yeah, I'm going to have a little just a cheeky gap coming through. That's nice. That's nice. Um, matching in the... This is what I'll do as well to kind of marry the lots in itself. There is a stone that doesn't match this perfectly, but it kind of, yeah, these ones here, it's kind of got that aesthetic, you know? It kind of blends in okay. I think what I'll do is go three on each side of the lot as well. Each lot as well. And what that will do, you'll have like a little gap like here, and then it will start again. So it just kind of helps blend it in again. It's all about blending the world in and kind of building for the world itself, I think. In my personal bloody opinion. Um, yeah, guys, let me know what your favorite objects that you found uh, with the new update is. I'll try and find mine now. I don't think there is any around this lot. I think they're more... No, I don't think they are in Newcrest. But those... Th see those up there? Those bushes there? They are gorgeous. We can have them as well now. Stunning. Stunning, stunning. I think what I'm going to do here... I might actually put a basement in this level as well. So it is kind of a four story. So it just makes sense having a basement area in these kind of builds because usually nine times out of 10, London townhouses will have a basement or any kind of English Victorian townhouse will have a basement. Um, and they are just as scary as they may seem. Let's get down to this level. What I'm gonna do, um, excuse you, down, down boy. <laughs> gonna bring that up select that press the page up and then remove the ceiling from here and then that there will go straight down there then might even put a little cheeky fence there because you do not want to be falling down into the basement darlings absolutely not oh they marry in quite well with that is that, is that what about these on the outside no i like the i love the big ones on the outside there giggity i actually really do and i think i'll put a little balustrade in here as well darlings Mm, I'm going to get rid of this one here now because that just looks a little bit weird. There we go. Yes. Mm, I don't like the high post on this side and the low one on this side. What about if I do this? What about if I get you? And just, no, I didn't think that would work. Damn! I was just going to do one. Oh. Hmm. Ah! It doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's crossing over with the balustrade on that side, but it balances it a little bit better then. We're going to ignore this cross... Oh, God, I can't. I can't ignore that. <laughs> I can't ignore it. It's making my eyes cry. Cry. That was for you, Martina. <laughs> and any of you Swedes out there. <laughs> oh, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to that. For the meantime, I'm happy with how that's looking sort of um top half of the building i keep checking this re like the picture just to give it a little bit of reference i think what i may do is come out just a little bit on this side just a cheeky bit like two squares only on the bottom floor as well maybe we could house something like a toilet do i want to balance that on each side no because that would be quite big then Eh, doesn't really matter it's fine yeah 
balance that on that side like that and then we could do a flat roof on that one now with the roof itself i'm not going to do an actual roof well i am but i'm going to do it behind a half wall so we'll get the half wall in this height maybe let's have a look let's have a cheeky look yeah this one here i had someone say oh i hate that you say cheeky all the time and i said well you my darling can cheeky the fuck off because <laughs> i'm just gonna keep saying it whenever anyone says like something annoys them that i do i'll just do it more <laughs> i'm that kind of bitch <laughs> so yeah stuck on that <laughs> oh damn what am i doing I think this will work actually just like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we want a fancy ass one at the top? I have no, I don't tend to use this one very much. It's not going to go up there yet, but I could make it go up there. That's what I was just trying to do and then getting rigged of the half wall. So we're going to do it again anyway. Right. You can piss off. You're doing my head in. <laughs> if I had to do it this way. Door to the door. Door, door to the door. Yes, let's make up words as well today. I'm all for a word making up. Oh, no, it's because it's a short height wall. <sighs> we could use this one. Mm, yeah, we'll just use this one. It's fine. I'm not going to do the black and white detail with that either. In fact, let's go back again. Oh, no. No, 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 let's not. Boof and a boof and a boof. And let's get this going on again to like there. Oh, I didn't think that was going to happen. And it did. See, these kind of things I can get rid of in speed builds. But when I'm doing a let's build, you guys get to see how much I fail at things. <laughs> oh, well, we're only human. Um. Okay. Okay. Right. Wallpaper wise, it is just a crisp white. It is a crisp white. I wouldn't mind a little bit of texture. Um, I don't think this one... Mm, that one there would look good, actually. I do use this one a lot, though. Pfft, it's because it's bloody great. That's why I use it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, my darlings. All the way up. Um, this one... Mm, I need to stop checking the reference picture because I don't want it to look too much like it. But that's where the inspiration comes from. So that's where we're going to go. Might... Do the wall trim black at the top just to frame in a bit more of the black accents that we will be putting on with the windows and such. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, half wall wise on this one, I'm going to go for a small. Going to go for a cheeky small. You heard it here first, sisters. It's a cheeky small. And we're going to put you around there like that. Do I want to go this way with it? No, I definitely don't. Do I? No, I want to change that up. What are you? You're very... Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Oh, I kind of prefer that. In fact, we'll put that one at the top and we'll put this one down the bottom. It just adds a little bit of something different then. I'm going to sit on my legs. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I used to make my mods tell me off for sitting on my legs because it's bad for your posture. But at this moment in time... I am not asked. Right, okay. Yeah. That's not looking too bad for a basic shape so far. Obviously, we need to do something with this yet. But the reason why I'm not doing this is because I might want to put a skylight or something in at the top. I'm unsure. Um, although, this bit here, let's add a roof in this bit. We'll go for a half-hipped roof on this side. Um, boop -de boop to there. And we'll bring this in to two there. And what I'm probably going to do, I might round this roof off just ever so slightly. But I might not. Let's have a look. No, I kind of enjoy that the way it is. Um, roof tile wise, there isn't any. I'm looking at for the reference picture. I'm getting rid of you. You're going. There. Then I'm going to not get distracted by a reference picture anymore. Um, And then on these roof tiles, I think just adding a, just a real simple black. That's nice. Yeah, we'll use these. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Now, these windows were the best that I could find that would fit this build. Any of this, I will be mixing CC sometimes and maybe some, like, sort of with the starter homes and stuff, I probably won't mix CC. But for the builds that I probably need to have a little bit more CC in, I will be using um, some, some CC, to be honest. <laughs> to be, to be, to be perfectly frank. 
Why are these? I don't get why these are like half. Maybe on the inside. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember some of Peacemaker's windows have like different looking ones on the inside. Like they'll have be white on the inside instead. I'm going to pull this down just as it starts to like glitch out. There we go. I mean, these windows will be. Yes. Mm hmm. I'm thinking columns, though. I am thinking columns on the edges. Just to, It's very crisp and it's quite delicate looking. I think we need to get a bit more ornate in here with some with some uh, with some um, columns. I'm just thinking on the bottom here. I'm just thinking about going in with this one. I tend to use this wallpaper a lot on my London builds. It just gives that brick effect at the bottom. Yeah, I think I'm going to Let's have a little look around. Do I want to do it on that one or should I leave that? We'll leave that one. We'll just do it on the actual main structure itself. We will change the uh, foundation in just a second. But for the minute, I'm concentrating on getting the front of this house looking bougie. Bougie. Um... Details at the top of these windows. I'm unsure on what we could use. Might have to go and find some CC or something. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to turn my fan towards me because I'm sweating a tit off. <laughs> just, just the one. <laughs> just the left. <laughs> we'll get to that in a sec. We'll get to that in a sec. We'll concentrate on getting this looking okay first. Window wise. I mean, door-wise, I think we're going to go and use the uh, Stranger Things. Uh, Stranger Things? Strangerville. Uh, now, if I remember rightly, it doesn't come in a black or there isn't a black, but there is just a plain white with a blue uh, door. Um, do, 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 do. These are a three, aren't they? Yeah, so that won't... Oh, do you know what? I'm just thinking now, because of the offset of this. Now, houses are usually like this. You'll know what I'm saying now when I do it. See where the window, where the door's very offset, like, from the windows? That always, like, makes my eye go, ugh. But a lot of London townhouses do have that. Whereas, because I'm a perfectionist, I'm just thinking, maybe, if I... Hmm, if I... Oh, excuse you. Oh! <laughs> Bye! Thank you for coming today. <laughs> <laughs> now, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. What I'm going to try is if I do a three wide, oh, excuse you, if I do a three wide, oh my god, I wish The Sims 4 was more clever. All right, let's get rid of you as well. We'll bring you back in though, darling. Don't fret, pet. Just thinking, this might help with the balance by using this door. And having a bit more of a... Yes, it does. See what I mean? It's just pulling it together. It's still offset, but it centralizes the build in my eyes anyway a little bit more. Um, There we go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm happy. And then what I'm going to do is whiff this one round like that, darling. Whiff that one round there. Let's just, let's just cancel you out by doing that. And then if I can pull you around to here, like so. Oh, I might actually widen that now. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to widen it. Giggity, giggity. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, Like this. I'll just take that straight across there. It's fine. Oh, I love that. Yes. If anything, that's kind of balanced it a little bit better for me. Still keeping the house very slim line, but that's just balanced it nicely. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Okay. Right, still things need to be done. Details and stuff. I'm going to put some columns around. Let's see what columns we can use. I don't want them to be too ornate, but I do want some kind of detail on them. The vampire columns are usually the best ones for that, in my opinion, because they do come in kind of these really nice sort of like designs. This one here is a little bit thick, so I think this one will probably be the way to go. Do we want to use it in a black? Um, I'm unsure just yet, but we're going to try. Let's have a look. Maybe use it in a black down there, but then up on these levels, we'll use it in a white. There's the white. Um, excuse you, can we have a little 
Can we have a little bit of... I don't want to put it in the middle. We'll just do them on the corners. We'll do the white there. We'll just do the black on the door, maybe. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think this is where I'm trying to get at. Yeah, I think so. I do. I think so. <laughs> God. Right, okay. Um, Down here, I might use this one again. Bring that in down just to where the building is. And then on these bits here, I'm going to go for a brick. And I think I'm going to go for a red brick. Yeah, I think I am going to go for a red brick down here. We can just pretend that beneath, which is probably what it would have been, would have been brick. But what they've done is rendered over it with this like white render. Yeah, that's helping me. I'm just wondering if they got a three one. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look, shall we? A three wide, um, gracious Georgian window. I know they have. Yeah, like this. I think so. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. I prefer that, you know. Mm -hmm. Right, let's choose a foundation. We'll choose a foundation. I'm unsure what foundation to use with this build because I, I always find the foundations go a weird color, like underneath. They just end up looking strange. Um, That's not brown. Oh, that would look nice. That's the winning one so far. Um, any more ornate ones? God, we need more foundations, don't we? Honestly. Honestly. Oh. Oh. Because I could put in the brick underneath there then. Let's have a little, let me have a little look at you, darling. I do like the one before. Right, we're just going to try this for the minute because I know it has got a matching, um... Wallpaper. Oh, I don't like that ugly line that is going, showing there. What scene, what is that about? Honestly. Honestly. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I do like that. I do. Right. Victorian tiles. Victorian tiles coming down here. We have got some gorgeous ones. From the vampire stuff pack. I wish we had more. I wish we had more patterns. I'm not bored of using these. Because I do find them really lovely to look at. But I would love to see some more. I would love to. Oh yellow would look really good here. Like to there. Excuse you. To there darling. And then up there as well. Oh I like that. Yes. Yes I'm happy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. So this is coming together quite nicely. And we're going to be putting windows on the side. That wouldn't be the case with these kind of townhouses. Some of them there would be. They would be detached. Um, but usually they are terraced houses. So they wouldn't have windows on the sides. Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. Right. What I'm going to do. I'm going to get into the debug menu. And we're going to have some fun. I'm going to... Oh, did it not work? Hold on one second. I'm going to get the cheats in. Okay. Cheats are in. Cheats are in and we have got things to do. Oh, let's have a little look. What's this? Missed this. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Oh, that's lovely. See, all of these new objects have just brought this bloody game together, I tell you. Um, Now, there is one... There is one tree that's supposed to sort of mirror a wisteria tree... But I did find it, but trying to find it again, it's a nightmare. Trying to find it again, it'd be a bloody nightmare. I'm going to have a little scan through quickly now, just to see if I can see it at all. Oh, that's a lovely tree. Look at that lovely tree. Oh, we'll keep you out just in case, because you'd look lovely on the side, darling. You really would. You'd look stunning on the side. <laughs> oh, this is that grass I was telling you about. This is the grass that I've been wanting in the game Oh, just look at it. Just the floatiness of it and the, the delicate, the delicate leaf. <laughs> I love it. I'm absolutely in love with that. So I'm so glad that that's in the game. We'll leave you out. In fact, let's get a few of you out because you could sort of put a few of the grass around the sides. I'm just roughly placing these for the minute. And I'm doing it this way. You cannot sort of press 
uh, shift to copy stuff from the debug menu. It doesn't work. Um, we'll keep a few of these out. Oh, landscaping is going to be so good. <laughs> God, I'm so dramatic. <laughs> yeah, but with good reason. I mean, we haven't had this much stuff for bloody ages. This is like a builder's expansion pack. <laughs> As I was saying, this. Like, like I've always said I want a builder's expansion pack. Oh, that's cool. Right, I'm getting distracted. I'm going to try and find the wisteria tree off of screen so we're not taking up too much time. I failed. I couldn't, I, I couldn't find it anywhere. So I've pulled out a few like pinky kind of tones that I'm going to climb up and detail the house with that way. I think that would be the best way to go. But first things first, I want to get some sort of details on the windows and stuff. I usually put shelves on the kind of bottom um, of things, which I probably still will do. But I thought it would be fun to test out this new debug filtering option. Um, oh, look at all of these pillars. Oh, I'm going to weigh myself. I am going to weigh. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> oh, Christ. Christ, dog, man of God. But, oh, they're lovely. Right, we're getting distracted. We're getting distracted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I thought mm, what could we put there instead hmm, it's a hard one that's not going to work it is a hard one we can always detail it with something else coming like off of camera but for the minute I think I'll go ahead and do the shelf kind of thing Um, what have we got kind of debug wise for shelving nothing nope 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 just all the shelves where nothing fits or oh, nothing fits on them it's always fun having sixty thousand shelves and nothing to go on them <laughs> love that i do i love it i love that it's my favorite <laughs> um i like these ones they're quite ornate the, the i do tend to use the vampire ones quite a lot as well because they've got a lot of detail on them but they're just a bit too small oh if i size them oh, it's a bit too big that, just that one size up the bracket on them is a little bit too big but i could like put them like oh i like that we can put i know what i'm doing i know what i'm doing we can put these above the windows just to frame these windows in and then what we can do on the bottom i'm unsure if there's anything that would fit well doesn't so ma matter so much there and then <sighs> i'm too excited <laughs> and then using where are you Oh, no, you don't. You look ugly. Oh! Oh. Oh, I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Guys, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe this one. Excuse you. Come to me. Um. Let me just see. I'm just going to test. I don't hate... I don't hate that. I don't hate it. Oh, no, I quite like it. That's swamping it a bit now, though. Let's just pull you up. If I can pull these up without making a, a gap, it will not swamp them so much. Eh, come on. Just a fraction lower. Oh. <laughs> my, my mouse is set to, like, the highest sensitivity I need it that way, but sometimes it's just a little bit too much. And you move, like, half a millimetre and it goes, Bye, girl! <laughs> You ain't putting me there. Yeah, they're like this. Oh, I like that. Yeah, but they do swamp it. Just by lifting that has made all the difference. And I know it's only a fraction, but I think you guys would agree with me. The ones with taste anyway. <laughs> Am I joking? <laughs> um, yeah. Kind of, kind of living for it. Kind of am. Wondering if these need to be lower. No. No, I kind of like it. I think once we've got the, like, sort of pink against it as well, it's going to make all the difference. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm happy with that. Onwards and upwards, my friends. Now, I do want a window down here. I'm going to put one down there for the meantime. Excuse you. There we are. I'm going to put one down there just for the meantime. Are these brown? Are you brown? You look brown. No, they're not. They just look... This is very black. The blackest thing that Sims have ever done, I think. 
Because usually the Sims 4 black means kind of dark grey. With build by objects. We'll put some soil. Yes, it is covering the window. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. They're a bit cartoonish when they go this big. So I'm just going to try and layer this as natural and seamless as possible. Let's climb you to like there. Oh, I don't want you to look too chunky at the bottom. Even though I do like a chunky bottom. Someone send help. Aiden's being awful. Now these are, these vines, we have got a similar one to this in the base game, but these are from uh, the Plumbub Tea Society. Come with the cottage garden stuff pack, I think. Um, And I love them. I love the color on them. I love the detail. I just love everything about it. Oh, now I'm going to climb you to like there, and then I'm going to shrink one down just to bring in the detail like that. There, there we go. That's all I needed. Yes, and then I'm going to climb it just to there and then some onto this side. Maybe chunk it up a bit here. See, they just size up too much. Too much. We can't have that. Right, okay. I'll climb you, you're a little bit straight edged there, so I'm going to bring you, round you up on the side there, darling. It's all about placement, my sweets. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's giving me the vibe. I know it's not Wisteria, but it is giving me the vibe. And I'm I'm here for the vibe, to be honest. Here for the vibe. I hope you guys are here for the vibe. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> See, the worst thing about these Let's Builds for me is that I do have to go back and listen to my voice to edit the whole video. <laughs> I, I, I end up cringing so much. <laughs> I really do. So I'm so glad that you guys stick around and tend to enjoy it. <laughs> because I do just make myself cringe way too much. Way too much. Anyway, that's kind of getting on with... I think what we're going to do now is just detail these areas out the front here. Get this all like sort of livened up. And then I'll go through and sort of place windows on the back and stuff. And just make a start on the shape of the garden. So yeah. Definitely going to be using this tree. Obviously can't copy this tree because it is from Debug. But I may stick another one in off the side off of camera um grass wise i do want this it doesn't have to be uh can i size it up oh is that a bit much yes a bit much is that a bit much i think it's a bit much just a little bit much um we'll just we'll just blow i'll get i'll get a few of these off of camera as well but i'll just blend it around just so it's natural-esque. Let's get you, darling. I'll work on the back off of camera. Sort of like detailing. Uh, just pull you along to like about there and whiff you over there a little bit. That's better. That kind of frames it in nicely. Um, I just love this. It's my favourite object. <laughs> it's my favourite object we found. <laughs> Um, I am in the midst of building a wedding venue as well, guys. You in using the ruined castle. Um, so keep an eye out for that. That will be coming very soon. I'm very excited about sharing that, actually. Ooh. No, that's a bit too much, that. <laughs> it's a bit too much. A bit too much, sweetie. Um, you're very pink. You're a little bit too pink. What? You're less pink, but I cannot stand the graphics on you. You literally look like someone puked on a tree and then thought, that looks good. We'll put that in. I frame a little bit of blossom on this side. In fact, maybe if I use the tree from Seasons with the white flower. Um, what colours do you come in? I know this is massive. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, that tree is just stunning. How beautiful is that tree? We're getting distracted. We're moving on. Um, filter items to seasons. Oh god, trying to find the difference between these packs. Um, excuse you? No results found? The season? Oh no, there wasn't any tree for seasons. What was it from then? Cats and dogs. I had to think in my head then. I bet there was someone out there like, there was no tree for seasons. You were right. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's going to be so hard to differentiate the packs now from the colours. It really is. Is that a bit too small? I could frame this one in the front here. But then I'll do some taller trees like going through this bit here. Using maybe like... um, Oh, what about you actually? Oh, that's pretty. That is very pretty. 
We'll do this at the back somewhere. We'll put you at the back. We'll keep you out, darling. Yeah. And then we'll do some taller trees here. What kind of tree? Maybe not aspen. I don't like... I do love those trees, but I don't like the air. The bark always clashes with other trees for me because it is obviously... Yeah, this one here. Um, Because it is obviously... Uh, Um, a white bark. That took about seven years to get that out. Do excuse me. Do excuse me. We'll put one of you there. One of you there. Maybe in the front here. I'm just thinking. Mm. I mean, it would frame the building really well. If I did like one of these like around here and then another one there. And then I can do this on all of the lots and that will help blend it in as well. It does swamp away these trees that here though, which I don't enjoy. But yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Now, I know that we have got something in debug now that kind of hold these trees in, you know, like the iron kind of like grates around the front of them. So give me two seconds. I'm just going to go and find this in debug. I found them. So these little things here are great. I'm, I've actually sized the trees down and they look a little bit better in my eyes. So I think I'm going to size them down. Yeah. And then it stops it swamping through the front and these tree, trees still kind of peek through quite nicely. Yeah, but these little th like sort of iron grates help just kind of protect the tree. It is swallowing this one a little bit, but that's better. That's better. They just need to be shifted. Shifted and stop it from sort of melting into the iron. Yes. I'm happy. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> right. Mailbox. We're going to get... We're going to use these all up the street. And it's the... I don't think that's the right one. Yes, it is. And we're going to use the iconic red mailbox that you see in the UK everywhere. Love it. And the pink flowers matching as well. Oh, it's just like it's meant to be. It's just meant to be, darlings. Absolutely meant to be. Now, I'm going to go and do some terrain painting, I think. I think we'll finish this off with some terrain painting and then I'll go through and do the back area. Um, <clears throat> sort of like just framing it in and getting the windows in and stuff. Um, but so far, we've not done too badly. We've not done too badly. I think the next kind of episode will be... Oh, that's a little bit too harsh. Let's get the softness down on that. Um, next episode will be... Um, kind of getting the garden stuff done I think and then making a start on the interiors and stuff I think that'd be the best way to do it but so far this is a this is coming along a treat in my eyes I'm very happy with how it's kind of turning out um I'm gonna sort of solidify the foundation and stuff in but I might do that with hedges and stuff instead of using kind of a stone All right I think that would kind of be fine there for the minute we will we'll come out and do some air We'll, come, we'll do some stones and stuff as well. Get some of the stones out. Right, you're not fitting in properly, are you? Yeah, we'll do that. I think that'd be the best way. The best way. But you get the sort of aesthetics that we're going to go with with this. Now, with each house as well, I will be making sims for them. Um, and I think what I'll do is, once I've done the first kind of get the house sort of like ready like this episode, I'll make the sims off of camera and then... I'll introduce you to them in the next one as well. Just so like we can start getting personalities for the interior and stuff. I think that'd be the best way to do it. The best way. The best way possible. Yes, I think so. Just that for the minute. I might tweak the um, terrain paints off of camera and stuff. But for the minute, we're just getting the, getting the, getting the moment in there, to be honest. Yes. Right, let's frame you under a little bit more. Just push that, push that detail out. Outwards. Lovely. I'm going to frame, I'm going to actually get rid of the sort of like line here by using, there's a more, more ornate one, isn't there? Where's that, where's that lower? Am I blind? I can't see. I can't see without my glasses. Um... You guys are probably screaming at me now. Here it is. So yeah, just putting that there. Yeah, that's better. That frames that in a little bit more. Obviously, we need lights and stuff on the outside here. And 
I thinking actually I'm gonna do this now on why we're here. Um Hmm, I wonder if a spandrel would work up here more. Hmm. Like this one. Yeah, it kind of swallows it. I want it to be quite pronounced. Don't think any of them are going to be pronounced, really. Oh, that one there, look. Just like that. And that just adds a little bit of detail. Just by the door there. And we are all for the detail. All for it. Right. Windows. We're going to get these roughly in. Might change with the um, sort of floor plans and stuff. Like, there's a few floor plans that I've got my eye on for this build in particular. Should we just do... Let's have a look. Maybe just move this one in a little bit more, actually. Like to around like there. Do we... And then maybe just one. One there. Is that the same height? Looks okay to me for the minute. Might change. It might change. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Let's let's try. Let's try. Can we lift you up a little bit? That looks, does that look weird? Yeah, it does. It does. It looks a little bit weird. Uh, let's get the con custom content filter going. Yeah, we'll pop the this one, the four one down there. Um, uh, these windows are like kind of swallowing up with this sort of roof line here. But I don't want to push the roof line down. I quite, I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should because then it would be easier for me. Yeah, that's fine. Still gives me the same look and feel of what I wanted but then it allows me to get some windows in there at the height that I need them to kind of be um I'm not going to put balconies on the side um I'm not going to actually put sort of balconies on the side of this I kind of okay with that kind of detail in that what I will do however is use these what I did through there and just put these on top um we'll put them up on top roughly and then I'll tweak them in a sec Let's get you... Oh, why did you go then? Ah, oh, it's because those, those are at default height and those aren't. Okay. Well, maybe I'll just pull you down then, darling. There we go. And you? Oh. Eh, excuse me. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Happy with that. Yeah, I do enjoy it. I wish we had some more, like, architectural pieces for the outside of houses, though. I've said that so many times, but I want it. <laughs> I do. I want it. Um, and what about maybe using something from here for the tops of this one? That's not going to go... It doesn't go badly. It kind of matches in well with the roof. And it's white and it's black. It's not the same kind of style, though. Um, hmm. 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 Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's massive though, isn't it? It's ginormous, that. Yeah, that's, <sighs> I really want to use this somewhere on this build. I think it would work. Maybe he's like sizing, <gasps> guys. Oh my God. Guys, see, this is how things can change organically. <gasps> I love that. I kind of prefer these on the windows now. Main reasons being that kind of shape helps, goes with the balcony a lot more. And it's not as thick. Yeah, we're going to do this. See, it's all changed. All change. Yeah, I do enjoy them. They look like little eyelashes, window eyelashes. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Much happier with that. And it's got more detail on it. You can see like on the corners, like it's got those like curly like details. Pretty. We're going to do that. So let's get rid of these ugly bastards. <laughs> uh, and go ahead and start putting in these again. <laughs> Why am I laughing at my own jokes? <laughs> Send help. Blink, blink twice for help. <laughs> Right, here we go. Yep, you do about there. I know I'm far away, but as soon as you go over to this way, things start to go wrong for me. Is that the same height? Eh. Eh, not, it's a bit too high. I'm such a perfectionist. There we go. <gasps> yeah, I love them. 
Round of applause for the windows, please. I really hope there is at least one person out there clapping with me because I'd be very happy. If you did clap, let me know. <laughs> shutters. Maybe shutters on the side, not on the front because the windows are too close together, but maybe we could get some of these shutters on the sides and we'll do them in white. These are too small for this house. Um, there are some bigger ones. I just picked up smaller ones. Uh, let's filter it to custom content. That's a lot easier, isn't it, Aiden? Eh, oh, they're here. I was like, what? Where are my shutters? Yeah, all black. Oh, I kind of like them in black. B -b hmm. Maybe, are these longer? Ah, oh, these fit better. And then they don't shut in that detail then. I kind of like them in black, but then I think if I use these in black, they're gonna sort of swamp the build too much. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look. We'll get another pair out, get rid of these ones and use these. Oh, I like it. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that on this side as well, but I'll do that off of camera. What I want to do now is just get this, uh, quickly get this shape of the garden um, sort of mapped in. And then obviously I said we're going to get the garden finished next time. So really small, really small little urban, little urban garden. Um, do I want to bring it back there as well? Yeah, we may as well. We may as well, my darlings. Like into there and bring it there. And then obviously this here will have to shimmy around a little bit. Oh, it's a bit wide that. Mm, maybe we'll use another tree there. We'll come, we'll come back to that. It'll be fine. I'm just gonna quickly get the foundation on. Uh grass. We'll use some astroturf. Um this might change, but I just want you to get a feel of what we're gonna try and do here. And I'll get a little pathway going and we'll get like an exit out this way maybe um with some nice tiles in a stony variety <laughs> i'm still laughing at my own jokes jokes oh i love that yeah that's cute um and a little fence and i'll get the windows on in the back and then next time when you come back we'll do the garden and um <laughs> where are you i can never find this bloody fence it's always in the place i least expect it to be i don't want an illusion of fence i want a fence <laughs> yeah like this so private little cheeky number might change might even use like a bigger half wall so i can climb stuff off of it or stuff stuff off of this stuff <laughs> Do you know what would look better if I had an exit here? So I fired stairs going there with a gate, maybe. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try it. Right, let me get these on. Come on. Why are you not copying too much? Why did my where did my frames go then? Bloody hell. Uh we rise we'll rise up. We'll rise up. I hate myself. <laughs> Let's get a little one of these on. Got that copy. That copy takes so long. Right, we'll get some of these here. Oh, they need to come down a bit, but we'll do that. You get the idea. You get the idea, but I think so far for today, this has kind of not been a bad start. There's a few things I need tweaking and stuff, and there's a few details I can see that need to be added in, like rocks and stuff around here. Um outdoor lighting and stuff obviously maybe just a few little tweaks around here with some extra shrubs and whatnot and maybe a potted plant two plotted plants out the front here would look cool um obviously i'm going to be decorating all of down here more than what i've done but we'll do that in the next episode as well we'll make this a kind of a wanna um and then we'll get into the interiors now i'm tr gonna try and have to squeeze three bedrooms in here which i probably could quite easily um this obviously needs to be painted a different color. I think I'll just paint this black before we leave, just so it looks a little bit semi-finished. There we go. Um, and then we'll do detailing on the roof and stuff as well. Some of them will have roof gardens and roof terraces and stuff, but so far, 
I don't think this is a bad start, really, is it? Little, this is Wisteria House without a hint of Wisteria anywhere to be seen. But we can just pretend. But yeah, oh, that was fun. That was really, really fun. I enjoyed myself. Next episode hopefully will be coming this Sunday. If not Sunday, it will be Monday. And I'm going to be trying to get out two of these Let's Builds per week. Um, plus a speed build. So pray for me because sometimes I may fail at that. And I'm sorry if that does happen. But I am a busy boy in my real life. Um, and sometimes real life's got to kind of take a, take a stand. But if, yes. <laughs> As I was saying. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you now because I'm failing at speaking. And I will see you all in my next episode. Or part. Whatever. Goodbye.